In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a border around your Apple Pages document. It's really easy. Let's do it right now. Okay, so this is actually a multi-step process within an Apple Pages document. So stay with me. I'm going to walk you through it step by step here. Now, first what we need to do is we need to actually add a shape that's going to act as our border. So to do that, we're just gonna come up here to our little shape button, and I'm gonna click this. We have a number of different options based off of whether you want it to have round corners or the traditional square corners. And what comes up is this little black box. Now again, don't worry about formatting at this point. All we're going to do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it out to the area where we want to create a border. And continue to use these little white dots that are surrounding the box to drag this out you can see there's a little yellow line that'll show up that'll show you it's centered. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna drag this little box now. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the bottom of our page. Okay, as you can see, our black box now is surrounding our entire page. The text I previously wrote has moved on to page two. Again, we're gonna fix that here in just a minute. So now that we have our shape, we need to state the parameters so it turns into a border. So here are a couple more things that we need to do. Make sure, you, again, you are selecting the shape. And then come over here and click that little style icon. This is going to open up a bunch of different menu options for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to color fill. I'm going to use this drop down menu. I'm going to choose no fill. Again, what that is going to do is that's going to absolutely eliminate all of that black markings, but still keep the parameters where we set it. Next, I'm going to come down here, and as you can see, it gives us a little border option. I'm going to click that drop down and I'm going to choose line. All right, there you go. Immediately we get this nice little border. You can actually adjust the line size. You can make it dashed. You can give it all sorts of interesting parameters here, making it look a little bit rougher like that. Uh, all sorts of different things you can do as well as the thickness of the line by bringing these arrows over here up or down. Okay, now that we like that, we have to make sure we say that we want this shape to be in the background so that text can be written over it. So in order to do that, we're gonna come over here to the little Arrange tab. I'm gonna click on that, and we're gonna come down here to this Text Wrap drop-down menu. So I'm gonna click this, and what we wanna select is None. And watch what happens as soon as I hit this. Immediately, that text that was pushed down to page two Page two is now deleted and that text is brought up and placed right in the middle of our page. So that is the basics. If you have just a single page, that's all you'll need to do. But let's say you want your entire document to have this border. Well, that's actually easy to do as well. What we need to do is we need to set this border as a master object, meaning it will show up on every single page. So again, to do that, let's just make sure we are selecting the object or the border here. You can see those white dots are present, which means it's been selected. And we're gonna come up here to the Arrange drop-down menu, and we're gonna come down here to this Section Masters. I'm then gonna click on Move Object to Section Master. And now watch what happens when I click on this Add Page icon. I'm gonna click on that, and as you can see, page two is now inserted with a border. And we can begin writing right here on this new page with our master border. Friends, I hope that's helped. Again, you can get creative with this. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? Let's us know we're making helpful videos and subscribe because we got a bunch more Apple Pages tutorials that are coming up really soon. Thanks so much for watching.